Happy Monday. I think it's like the fifth Monday of the pandemic. There's hopeful signs. Uh, I'm very excited about that. Um, good news on my parents' front. Um, both my mom and my dad now have tested negative for COVID-19, and he is six days seizure-free. So that is very awesome. Um, but then he went and tested positive for Epstein-Barr, which is mononucleosis, which has just kicked his butt. And he's like, why am I so tired? I'm like, let's see, you're 90 years old and you survived COVID-19. Uh, you are a stud. And, uh, but then, you know, this new diagnosis, it's just like, my goodness, I know you are ready for this to end, because certainly I am. And as you know, I get medical journals, Pakistan, Australia, Florida, Texas, so great to see everybody. Colorado Springs, that's uh, wonderful. I know, my poor dad, um, amazing. But, you know, as we read about the psychological uh, fallout of the pandemic for so many people, um, I mean, I've just feel, lately I can just feel your pain. But we're not here to feel your pain. We're here to help you be your best and survive during this time. Maui, I just one of my favorite places on earth. Um, and um, what I want to talk to you about tonight is what, what I really think of is the 30 minute total brain solution. And uh, I'm not kidding, it can make a big difference for you. And all of this is about developing habits that you put into your life every day so that um, you can thrive even during this stressful time. And uh, for some people, no doubt, it's really stressful. You have parents that are sick, like my mom and dad, and I can't go visit them in the hospital. I mean, that's irritating and sad. And I was grateful they pulled through it. I mean, just imagine all of the people that are saying goodbye on FaceTime and um, it's heartbreaking. So what to do? And I'm working on a new public television special for next year on overcoming anxiety, trauma, and grief. Um, and part of it is going to be based on my new book, Your Brain is Always Listening. And we're going to talk about the dragons from the past that still breathe fire on your emotional brain. It's a very different book for me, but actually it's one of the most fun books that I've written in a long time. And it's going to be also based on Tana's new book. She has a new book called The Relentless Courage of a Scared Child. You know, I have seen this comment before. I'm an introvert with social anxiety. I'm honestly okay. Yeah, it sort of depends on who you are. I mean, most people would think I'm an extrovert. Not really. I like a lot of alone time to write and think and uh, so on. But being one of seven with five sisters, I'm sort of make you a little bit of an introvert. Um, yes, I'm going to talk about ancestral trauma for sure. But I digress. Tonight, the 30-minute total brain solution for a pandemic. So in my book, Feel Better Fast, there it is, I love it. Um, it's really about learning how to engage in habits that help you feel good now 
and later as opposed to now, but not later. Think marijuana, now, but not later. I've seen thousands of marijuana brains and as a group, they're not healthy. Well, what about alcohol? Alcohol sales online have gone way up. Well, of course, you can't go to the bar or to a restaurant. Alcohol, not me, I hate how I feel on alcohol, just being honest with you. I don't like the fuzzy brain. Um, but for a lot of people, it makes them feel good now, but clearly not later. It's one of the most common causes of domestic violence uh, and drunk driving, although accidents have gone down, but unfortunately, domestic violence has gone up. Um, cheesecake makes you feel good now, but not later. Um, smoking now, but not later. Um, and I want you to do things that make you feel good now and later. So that's why the book is called Feel Better Fast and Make It Last. And in the first chapter, I like come out of the gate with what's the science say about how to feel better fast? And we talked about diaphragmatic breathing. So that's the two minute anxiety solution. If you haven't watched that, watch it. Um, we've talked about hypnosis, I'm a huge fan of hypnosis. Coming up, we're gonna talk about loving kindness meditation, one of my favorite forms of meditation. But tonight, I really wanna help you flood your brain with positivity using all five of your senses. So most of your brain, 60% is about receiving information. And then the rest of it is about processing it and then determining well, what to do with that information that you get. But if you can flood your five senses with positivity, it will just make a really great difference in how you feel. Now, everyone is a bit different. So let's look at your five senses. So let's start with sight. Get a photo album on your phone of the best pictures that make you happy. Don't put pictures and label it. Brain joy. Label the photo album. And don't put pictures in that make you sad. So if I put a picture of my grandfather and I loved him, still love him, my best friend growing up, but I cry when I think of him and I think of, so don't put that in. But if I think of Haven, um, who is my almost two-year-old granddaughter, or I think of Emmy, um, my nine-year-old granddaughter, or I think of Elias, my 10-year-old grandson, or Liam, uh, my nine-year-old grandson, or Louie, uh, the five-year-old, I'm just completely happy. Or you've met Alizé and you've met Emily, um, and you've met Chloe and Tana. So those are images that make me happy. And if they make you laugh, that's even better. So I put a image of my um, wedding dance with Tana because um, it makes me laugh. Not that our marriage is funny, although often it is. Um, but we were practicing our wedding dance the night before we got married and there was this cool dip in the dance and I almost dropped her. 
<laughs> we still laugh about that, but uh, get an album. Maybe a hundred photos if you can find them, um, but at least a couple of dozen photos. So whenever you feel sad, remember what we have talked about over and over again. Where you bring your attention determines how you feel. Where you bring your focus determines how you feel. And if I bring my focus to all the sad things going on in the world, I am going to feel sad. And if I bring them to all the amazing things that are happening uh, in our society, more time with family, increased bonding time for so many of my patients, it's what's happening in my own house, um, the lower pollution, I feel good. Where I bring my focus determines how I feel. So the Brain Joy album can help you so much. In addition, soothing images can impact your mood, images of nature. So we saw someone from Hawaii, one of my favorite places. I lived there for two years on Oahu. I lived in the mountains above Pearl Harbor, had a stunningly beautiful view. And uh, uh, Hawaii, sometimes you actually see double rainbows. I actually saw triple rainbows, double rainbow. So a rainbow on top of a rainbow, spectacular. Um, so images of nature and fractals. So what are fractals? They're never ending patterns. And research has actually been found that can soothe stress. In one study, people who looked at real plants or posters of plants experienced less stress while waiting for medical procedures. Well, how interesting is that? You can just get plant photos online, put them in your um, photo album, and it's like medicine. Feel better now and later or fractals, never-ending patterns. Think of the inside of a shell. Or pictures from your favorite vacations. I went to um, Morea once, that oh, was stunningly beautiful. Or we went to the Acropolis uh, in Corinth in Greece. Oh my goodness, spectacular. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you to put this all together at the end. So when you feel bummed, flood all five of your senses at once. So pick what you want to do for your eyes. Did you know vision in the brain? It takes up about 30% of your brain. That's why Sephora works because you want to look good for your partner. Um, so we went with sight. Now let's go with your sense of smell. And I have a big nose, a big Lebanese nose. Smell is so important. And you know, one of the problems with COVID, about 30% of people lose their sense of smell. And when you lose your sense of smell, you can sort of lose your sense of joy for a while. Um, so certain scents are known to have a positive effect on how you feel, especially lavender oil for anxiety, mood, sleep, and migraine headaches, rose oil, chamomile, honeysuckle, vanilla. What works for you? What works for you? as far as your sense of smell. I remember I was helping uh, one of my young patients who was really struggling with depression and lavender just made a huge positive 
difference. Whenever he had an anxiety attack or felt out of control, um, he got these lavender sachets that just exploded with smell in a good way. And so if you are anxious or you have trouble sleeping or you feel sad, get a lavender sachet, just put it under your pillow, put it in your computer bag, take it with you. Well, I know you're not going anywhere now, but when we do, hopefully sooner than later, you'll have something that will just calm you. So, Brain Joy photo album, a scent that you love, that loves you back, like lavender, and taste, certain tastes can also help. Flavoring food, for example, with cinnamon, with saffron, we talked about saffron, mint, sage, or nutmeg has also been shown in scientific studies to enhance your mood. Um, cinnamon is also a natural aphrodisiac for men. And when I told my mother this, she hit her forehead and she said, that's why I have seven children. Being Lebanese, Lebanese cook with a lot of cinnamon, she said he would just, my father, never leave her alone. That explains the seven children. So we have taste and sight and smell and touch. So getting a massage, Um, touch is so powerful. And this is actually one of the reasons this pandemic is so bad because we're not shaking hands and we're not hugging people at church and we're not gonna shake hands. I mean, can you imagine? Somebody puts their hand out, you go, why? Put the COVID thing away. Um, But as families, we're still touching each other. And I had a big knot in my back this week. And this is called a theragund. Really helps. But there are all sorts of these devices that can help. Um, So your skin is the largest organ on your body. Um, massage, acupressure, um, getting a hug appropriately that doesn't spread the germs. A sauna can be very helpful. Um, a spa with, you know, hot water, not hot, you burn yourself, but hot water can just be amazing. Um, even a warm shower can help. Some people take cold showers and just swear by it. Um, But do something for your skin that helps. And remember we talked about hand warming uh, and how helpful that can be. If you you didn't hear that, go to the two-minute anxiety solution and learn about it. And then um, your sense of hearing. Um, Music is medicine in so many ways. So like you have a Brain Joy photo album, I want you to get a Brain Joy playlist. So what is on your playlist? With lyrics, without lyrics, if you're going to try and accomplish something, don't do it uh, with lyrics because that is too distracting. But... um, Oh, stroking your pet. I almost invited Aslan here. If you want to see Aslan, you can see our Easter message. I invited him there. Uh, Thank you so much for the kind words. Um, But I, and for some reason during this pandemic, my cat, Miso, is so affectionate, even outside of times when he's not feed me, feed me, feed me. Um, And so holding your cat or holding your dog or holding your rat. I used to have a rat named Algernon. And um, that they really soothe the stress 
that you experience. So that would go with your skin. Now, with music, don't put music on that triggers a breakup or that triggers uh, bad memories. I want you to trigger good memories. Uh, but just some things on my playlist, Good Vibrations by the Beach Boys. I just love the Beach Boys. Uh, Don't Stop Me Now by Queen, Uptown Girl, Billy Joel, Dancing Queen by ABBA, Eye of the Tiger, Survivor, I'm a Believer, because I was a teenager when the monkeys came out. Um, Girls Just Want to Have Friends, Living on a Prayer, I Will Survive, Walking on Sunshine. Um, And there's actually research that music can change your brain, can change your mood in a positive way. And some of you may know, if you go to Amazon, you can actually get three of our albums, uh, Feel Better Fast and Make It Last, The Brain Warrior's Way, and um, Music for Bright Minds. Um, They're also on our app, Brain Fit Life. So whenever you feel sad or anxious or low, what I want you to do is plan this out. God gave you a big brain for a reason. How can you stimulate, how can you flood each of your five senses at once with positivity? And so you can take a sauna or a hot bath um, while you're um, having Um, a lavender candle or a sachet with lavender, listening to good vibrations um, while you're having an almond milk pumpkin spice cappuccino with nutmeg decaf. So... I hope that's helpful. I think tomorrow I'm going to give you this very cool memory trick to manage your mind. It's in my book, Memory Rescue, but I really like it a lot. So I will see you tomorrow. We're also going to pick a day. We'll let you know where we're going to answer questions. Uh from our audience. I'm going to try and grab Tana to help me with it. All right. I hope you have an awesome night. Stay safe, social distance, but don't socially isolate. Be connected to people you care about and share. Share these live chats with your friends and then you can talk about it. It's just another way to stay connected in a positive way. Chloe, my 16-year-old said her songwriting teacher every night at Nine o'clock after they put the kids to bed, they get on Zoom with five other families and they drink together. And that is feel better fast that will not last. (laughs) Um, There's so many better ways to do it. All right, bless you, be safe.